Hey guys, we're Max here, and welcome back to another episode, or like part two, of scoreboards in Bucket. Yes, we're doing scoreboards again, and for this one, we will be working with our exact same project, and we'll just be building off of it. So yeah, let's get started. So let's see, let's go over what we have last time. So what we did last time was we created a new scoreboard, and we gave it the total kill count so that whenever we killed something, the, a player or a mob or anything, it would display our that, that we killed it, basically. We tiled it leaderboard with um, an aqua color, and we set display slot to the sidebar. And then we also put in our little custom little score that showed up when we went in. Yeah. And then we set it to that. And then we gave the player the scoreboard. Alright. So what we are going to be doing now is that we are going to be kind of doing a thing. Like, it's going to be something that's going to uh, be a little bit difficult. But I'm sure we can get it done. It might not, might not finish it this episode, but we will get a good part done. So what we're going to do is going to go to our main class and do another event. Sure, I probably went over events. Yeah, I have. Yeah. So, oh my god. Okay. Event handler. Public void on player death. So we're going to do a player death event. So yeah. Let's import everything. And in case you guys didn't know, you can automatically import things with, um, I believe it's control shift O. That automatically imports things. Uh, player death event E. Same nickname to that. Control. Is it just Control O? No, it's Control Shift O. Or Shift O? No, it's Control Shift O. And yeah, that imported. Alright. So now we can just get an instance of the player with uh, player P equals E dot get. What happened here? Player P. Poor player. Equals E dot get entity. And this just gets an entity that died. The entity that died. Which is the player, obviously. Alright. So now, when a player dies... Actually, let me just go up here. What did I do this last? Did I save this in a hash map? Yes, yeah, so we'll be going over hash maps today. Yay! Hash maps, public. I'll... Yeah, I'll give it static. Static. Void. Uh, let's... Hash map. Let's have it be... Actually, a string. Actually, no, not hash map. Map string integer. Integer. I can't spell. <laughs> integer. Yeesh. Map integer. And we'll call it. Um. Streak. Cause this is what we're going to be doing with kill streaks. Equals new hash map. And then no, the same thing. It's going to be a string and an integer. Spelled it right. All right. With parentheses, close that. And why do I keep putting void? I have no clue. And now we can import map and hash map. Control Shift Do just make it easier for ourselves. And yeah. So what we also want to have a what we're going to have to do is a player. Kill events. Actually, no. There's no player kill event. Yeah. Uh, actually, yeah. We can do it on player death event. So let's see. So actually, we can do a killer. So player killer equals p dot get killer. Simple. All right. So let's see. If killer is an instance of player. Right now, well, not kill. Killer. It's an instance of player. So. Actually, yeah. Let's move that down there, just so that it doesn't cause us any errors. If p dot get killer, there you go. Now it won't cause us any errors if it's like a skeleton or something that kills the player. All right. Then killer dot set. Actually, not a set. Then we can do streak. Jeez, I can't spell. Streak dot put. Player's name, so the killer's name, killer dot get name, and then we can put it as the integer of one. Actually, 
Yeah, I'll leave it as one for now. I'll change it later. And yeah. So what this will do is that whenever a, a whenever a player dies, it gets the killer. If the killer is a player, then it will put one as their streak as their kill streak. It won't add it or subtract anything or just do it. It could be at twenty, but if you kill someone it just goes back to one. That's what this means. What you could do was well, you could do if streak streak dot get killer dot get name if that is isn't equal to null actually if that isn't equal to null then you can do integer uh, amount equals streak dot get not steak oh, I could use some steak <laughs> I could really use some steak get killer dot jeez get name which will return an integer because we set it as an integer here and actually while I'm while I'm here I'm just gonna go over what a hash map is what a hash map is it's something that it's kind of something that can store information for you without having to put it into a file or something I guess it it doesn't save unless you set it to which um, it is this huge process I'll probably go over sometime later but right now it just says in order for the hash map to work you must put in a string and assign it to a number this could be anything I could have put player here and like string here or like something some other third thing but for ju that's just what we're doing so it saves the string and sets it to whatever integer is put in it as you can see from here not here and now for what we can do is we can do streak not steak make me hungry dot put killer dot get name so this is the string value that we're putting in as we set up here now the integer value will be amount plus one so we're just adding what they'd already add and otherwise so if it is equal to null or they never had a streak to begin with then we just set it to one simple now actually no I just do this I can just do streak not steak streak dot put killer dot get name not killer p dot get name and set that and set their value to zero because when you die obviously your kill streak is over and gets set back to zero simple and yeah so that should be it and now what we can do in here is actually I can make it actually no score score ks for kill streak equals o dot get score of a bucket dot get offline player kill streak and I can just actually yeah dot set score and I can actually do since I saved up in main I can do main dot streak dot get player dot get name no not get bored what is this specifically put p I wanted the p there name jeez alright what do we have here ah yes 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 it won't allow me to put anything there because that's only a score. But then I can do ks dot set score to this. No, do this. Dang it. To this. Yes. Alright. And now that'll work. Alright. So I'm actually just going to go in here and show you this the the problem. Because there is going to be a problem with this. I can guarantee it. Alright, so let's just get back in there. 
And let us no not the API. Bucket server plugins. Why don't we open that up? Bucket server. Alright. And actually while this is starting up, I'm gonna go over what we just did. So, what this is. We created a player death event, which is only triggered when a player dies. So we discover that if the player if the player's killer is an instance of a player. So if the if a player kills the player that died, obviously. Then we get that killer. And if the killer already has and, oh my god. If the killer already has a kill streak, then we just get the number that they had and add, and add it and add one to it basically. Otherwise, if they didn't have a kill streak, we set it to one. Yeah. And then we go over then we go over to the player and set their streak to zero. The player that died. Alright. And now the server's up. And let's hop on into the game. Alright. And we are here into the game. Let me see that. Alright. Let's go in here. Alright. Ooh, okay. That's better. Alright. Oops. I've been working with command blocks and stuff. But, uh, what I can do here is, let me just raise my distance a little bit. Actually, let's leave it at normal. Alright. We can do dash SB again. And why didn't that work? Because... Ah, uh, yep, this is exactly what I thought it would be. You'd always think that it would work, but it, d it won't. And let me just show you exactly why. This didn't work. I'll bring up the console here for you. Oops. Let me just do something like that. And there you go. Here's the console for you. This is what the console looks like. Yeah, if you, if you run it correctly. What it shows us is that at the scoreboard manager, at l so basically here, everything's running up correctly. You run the command, then there's an, a null, and the error was null. So from here, you can figure it out. Caused by a null pointer exception. At, at the package name, and this will be the class, and this will be the method that caused it. Then it shows you the exact line right here that caused it. So. Let's hop back here. Let's figure it out. Why did it do that? Oh, right here. Perfect. Oh, I know why. Because we didn't have one. We didn't have anything there. It was completely null. We hadn't even done anything. Well, an easy way to fix this would be to just go in and kill ourselves, you know. Which, for, for purposes as right now, which is, is probably what I'm just going to do. So we can just... You know, restart the server. Get that back up. And so let me just hop on into the game. Alright. So now that's what we can do. Did it reload? I have no clue. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Well, as that's busy reloading, I think it is. Yeah, it is. Alright. We're good. There we go. Alright. Bombs away! Okay, I guess it's not done reloading. Alright. Um, this is awkward. Oh. Okay, server, just be like that. Alright. Why not? Let's just go back in, log back in. And let's just restart the server. I'm lagging very hard right now because I am doing three things at once, plus I'm rendering another video. Yikes. Alright, uh, let me just go back to the code screen for now. So the, the reason why this didn't work was, I probably explained this, but I'll do it again. Because we didn't actually have our name in here, and it tried to like get our name but obviously since we didn't have one in there that returned null and caused an error all right so now the game should be good so we can go back into it all right and now 
If we were to spawn in, we'd probably start falling. Yep. And we land. Okay. Okay, I. This is the part that I really hate. I really hate. Respawn. Fine. You're making me go to the title screen. Hope you know that. You're making me do it. Alright. So now that we have this all up, as you can see, I can probably actually do dash kill. Wow, this is a great deal of lag. It's a great deal of server lag. What is going on? Six and a half hours later. Hey guys, I am back here and I figured some stuff out and it works now. You can hit things. Yay. Does SB work? Internal error. What was that internal error? Because it was null because I didn't kill myself. Yay. Actually, yeah, let me just kill myself. Actually, I don't know if everything's going to be other, so I'm just going to go back to that location. Yeah, I'm just going to go back to that location. That location seemed nice. And let me just make my way over there. Make my way downtown. Yeah, it's nice over here. Where did I drop my stuff? I uh, they're here. I think. Whatever. Is that myself? No. He's dang flowers, I can't tell. Alright. Now if we do SB. Yay! Sweet, it works. It works. And I did nothing to the code. Did absolutely nothing. Alright. So let me just run a test. And we can see if I kill something. Max is at one. But you know, kill streak was set to zero. Because I didn't kill a player, that's why. Alright. Um see if I can get players on here. I'll bring on my test guy, test dummy. Actually, no, nah. Okay, trust me on this, guys. <laughs> trust me, it it it'll work for the most part. That's uh okay. As as well, we do know one thing. That it did put my streak at zero when I died. I don't need task manager up right now. And Cool Beans is still set. So does this spawn like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Die, sheep. Die, sheep. Alright. And actually, I might make the killer to this. Um... No, but then it's just a player. Hey, guys, we are back and I'm with my test dummy here and let me just run SP again I kill myself I go all the way back <laughs> SB yes, SB Yay. SB. Alright. As you can see, it works. And now, if I were to, like, say, sneak up behind Tess, you know, he's not looking. Just carefully. Just go get him and kill him. And our kill streak does not work. Hmm. Why? I want to work. Hmm. Because. And okay. Oh, yeah, this is what it was. Okay. I was waiting to see if anyone would catch it. Because. It only sets it 
once. So it won't change whenever anything, like, it won't change at all. Not at all. It, it won't change. Period. And to fix this, it's very simple. Very simple, very easy, and you can use it starting the next day. Alright. What we can do is we can get the player's scoreboard. Get the killer scoreboard and the player scoreboard. So, let's see, we can do scoreboard. Actually, no. Actually, I can just do this on one line of code. It'll be really long, but we'll do it anyway. Scoreboard. Player dot get scoreboard dot get objective display slot dot sidebar now what we can do I like doing this because it tests uh, to find a player's scoreboard alright it's going to be an extremely long video but that get name dot equals that's two equals and this is what you named it here so if I say it equals kills Then I can do this. And this is just a test what scoreboard a player actually has. So I can easily get it. Scoreboard dot get objective display slot not display dot display dot dot sidebar dot no dot get score of the offline player so bucket dot get offline player and I named it Kill streak, not kill stakes, kill streak dot set score to <laughs> streak dot get key p dot get name. Boom, it's a lot to take in, it's pretty long, but it works. All right, killer. That's a killer. And change that to killer. So now, let's get this going. And so I don't show the console and show my IP. I will see you all in game. So take it easy. There's going to be a lot of editing today. Hey guys, I'm Max here, and I am back, and as you can see, I just reload the server, and if I were to try SB again, then obviously it would not work because the hash map did not save. So that's just telling you guys that hash maps do not save unless set to, which is, you have to go through a lot of work for that, but I'll just go back to where I was, and I will get back to this, and this will probably be the last thing that I do in this video. So, this will... Stop our kill streak thing, and I'll probably do one more thing on scoreboards, which will, uh, you know, help out a little bit. Let's see where's the test? There he is. All right. All right. So now, try to go back up and test again. You notice our kill streak went up. It worked because it reset our scoreboard. Reset it right when, right when we killed him. No delay, nothing. You could add a delay, I guess, if you really wanted to. But yeah, yay, yay, yay! It works. And if you were to say kill yourself, I'm sorry, but it got set back to zero. Boohoo! Oh well. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. Yes. And you know, make sure you tell me what else you want to see. What do you want to see me do? What do you want to? What do you want to happen? What's something that you that you saw in Minecraft that you really wanted to to learn how to do in code? So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe again. It helps so much to know that I get support from you guys. And it makes me motivated to make even more videos like this. So, thank you and good night.